everybody it's sunflower sims and welcome back to my channel so today i am building a luxury penthouse um this is um a th well it's a one bedroom but there's two rooms an office and an exercise room that you could easily turn into bedrooms so i guess technically it could be three bedrooms um anyway so um this is meant for just a couple or one sim and I thought it, I had fun making it. I initially was going for like an industrial theme, but then it turned out to feel just more like luxurious and like fancy and upscale. Um, so I was really excited about that and I think it turned out really, really well. So I'm just doing the general shape on the outside. I actually try to match the brick and the white to the rest of the building, the um, high rise. So that way it like looked a little bit more normal. And here I am just dividing up the floor plan um, I do mess around with it a few times. Um, it does get changed a little here and there, but um, that's okay. And then going through and doing the roofing, I liked the roof that was initially on there, so I try to do something similar with this one. Um, yeah, so when you are watching this video, I am about two weeks away from school starting. I don't know about you guys. I know some of you have probably already gone back. Some of you are getting ready to go back. So if you are back already, good luck. And if you're heading back, good luck. If you're not in school anymore, good luck with work or whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going into my third year of college. I'm very, very excited. Um, it should be a good time. Um... <laughs> hopefully. Um, <laughs> we'll see with coronavirus. It's going to be really weird. Um, I don't want to say where I go to school, but I will say that my school is small enough that I um, can go back in per and be in person and have in-person classes because our classes are already so small, which is very good. I'm very happy about that, and I'm really hoping that I get to stay at school because I missed half of, uh, I missed half of my s spring term this year which kind of sucked and I just I don't know I'm very excited to go back see all my friends um get back to some sense of some sense of normalcy and to start up my activities again um I'm in a service group and a sorority and I'm in music um I play violin so lots of fun stuff going on I'm very excited to get back I'm very very excited I have an apartment this year, which is super fun. So it was, you know, it's kind of fun building apartments on The Sims because I'm like, I'm going to have an apartment now. Um, mine is not going to be as fancy as the ones I build in The Sims, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm also, like, super self-conscious about, like, the amount of stuff I'm bringing. But, like, half or more of my stuff that I'm bringing is communal stuff for the living room, kitchen, that kind of thing. Because I have, um, I'm living with a few other girls, so like half the stuff isn't even just for me it's like for everybody and then I have other and then some of my stuff is for my cat and my fish because I have a cat named Lorelai after Gilmore Girls and I have a fish named Theodore um his name is Theodore because um I think it's funny to name fish fancy people names yes I'm 20 years old um, anyway I also have a snail named Finnegan I just think it's funny to name like little fish and stuff like fancy people names I don't know it amuses me Anyway, so we have just, like, breezed through, like, a good chunk of this house already. So, um, with this one, I kind of placed the furniture first and then went in and went, like, all with all the details and decorations and stuff. Just because I was trying to get a feel for the apartment and, like, where everything was going to fit. That kind of thing. Um, so I went with, like, this teal and purple theme for the living room. I thought it was pretty fun. Different colors. Kind of chic. Kind of modern. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and then I put in, I ended up putting in a big bar and so it just it ends up being quite nice um yeah so um let's see the kitchen ends up having um a bit of a dining like space in it too a smaller table and then there's the big dining table i end up putting in a bar um yeah so this apartment's got it all it's got a home gym there's two tvs in this house like it's like a wonderful penthouse um I would not mind living here actually um i'm not much of a city person but like if i was a city person like this apartment would be pretty great to live in um it's very much the living room is very much my style i love teal and purple um those are some of my favorite those are my favorite colors so it works like i don't know i would totally have that living room um 
actually my living room is going to be similar um in my apartment which is very exciting i don't know you guys probably can't hear it but if you hear a jingling noise i apologize that is my cat coming through um and yeah also if my computer if I anything weird ever happens to my screen while i'm playing like it jumps really weird it's usually because my cat jumped on my computer and i was just didn't want to edit out that like point second clip um <laughs> yeah so any anyway um so there are like two outdoor spaces in this house one on the front one on the back um, the one on the front of the house with, like, the living room and everything, that one is a little bit more of, like, a patio type thing, and then the other one is, like, a backyard out in the high-rise, more with, like, a garden and a fire pit and just some more outdoorsy things. Um, yeah. So, this apartment, um, I thought about having a butler for it. Initially, I was going to, but then I decided no because... Uh, I just didn't really feel like putting in a butler suite. I would rather have them have like, like the home gym and this and a beautiful office, wonderful um, large office. So I actually didn't go with the butler. But again, you could easily turn the gym or the office into a bedroom, either for a butler or for kids or other guest room or other sims, whatever you want to do with it. Um, yeah, there are two bathrooms in this house. Um, yeah, lots of plants. I put lots of plants. I love putting plants all around my houses in The Sims. I like plants in general. I love ca cacti and succulents because they are very easy maintenance and they are very cute and very pretty in my opinion. And I love them. So, this house is also full of plants. Um, that shelving from Eco Living with all the plants on it. I love it. It's awesome. I used a lot of um, vintage glamour furniture in this house. Um, actually, I, you know, it just gave me the luxury vibes and I liked it. The glamorous vibes <laughs> as in the name. Um, so moving on to the kitchen. Initially, I was going to put it on this wall and then I realized, nope, I wanted to flip it because I didn't want you to walk in and see the dining room table. I wanted the, or the kitchen table. I wanted that to be pushed back a little bit. So I ended up switching that around, adding some windows because I realized it was super dark in there. And I ended up using um, mismatched counters and um, cabinets. I use cool kitchen stuff counters which are my favorite counters now. And then for the cabinets, I use Jungle Adventure because I don't like having all like glass cabinets um all see-through ca um cabinets but i wanted to keep like the same um texture and white color so the jungle adventure ones works really really well for that i put in this nice big island there's a couple chairs at it um but not too terribly many um there's literally just two um and then like i said there's a small t um kitchen table for i believe four um but then you got your big dining room table in the main living area. So, let's see. Yeah, so I put in a glass table and I just put four chairs on it. Um, moving on to, nope, not moving on. We're still in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, now I'm going back and putting in a couple clutter items. And now I'm putting in some paintings, some posters. Again, cool kitchen stuff. I really... I don't know I've seen a lot of like the DLC rankings and a lot of people put cool kitchen stuff down kind of low but honestly I love cool kitchen stuff it's I for the cabinets and counters alone like I love it um but I also love doing the kitchens and my sims builds I think it's so fun I love it love it love it so um moving on to the hallway here and the bedrooms um that room on the top left is going to be the master the one on the top right is the home gym and the bottom that is going to be the office so i went for kind of a gold and tan and black kind of theme in this room initially i was going to do the sunflower bed because i think it's really fun and sunflower sims but then i realized that like it just wasn't glamorous enough for me for this apartment. Um, thought about putting it in a closet, but again, I didn't want it to stick out in the bedroom, but then I didn't want it to stick out awkwardly in the home gym room either. So I just ended up going for a regular dresser and a vanity. Um, I do put a TV 
in right there so you can lay in bed and watch tv um adding in some nice end tables um i end up replacing that clock for a lamp um there we go i thought that that clock um the sundial looking clock was really pretty to put above the bed i put in a fan i put in these like mauve curtains i know that there's nothing else in the room that's that color but i thought it was kind of fun um and it was a little different it brought in another just another element to the room um yeah so um i yeah this room is like full of vintage glamour that's all i used almost all i used uh, moving on to the bathroom i didn't include screenshots of the bathroom in this video um i don't know i just thought they were pretty boring i just kind of slapped them together in all honesty but yeah so uh oh uh oh here comes kitty i don't want her to step on the computer while i'm editing hold on okay all right <laughs> i didn't want her to like jump on my computer um so i will have this hashtags but these are these paintings are from the gallery that i have say that i've saved to my library and they're really pretty i have a whole bunch of different like sets um they're actually just rooms that people have turned into um or just that are literally just a wall with a bunch of paintings um and they're just something different that you can put in your sims rooms and i really like it like i said i'll put the hashtag um in the description on my gallery for those because um that's what the person requests if you put them in a public build that you put on your gallery to put in the hashtag and that way you guys can go find them yourselves also if you just like search paintings and rooms you're gonna get like tons of stuff with different paintings um and if you just save them to your library you can pull them out and use different paintings so working on the office here um i made it kind of a formal office with like seating so like when you have clients over or whatever i don't know I'm very fa very fancy putting in some curtains and then we're going to move on to the outdoor space very shortly i believe um i do end up making that hallway smaller because i thought it was, was way too big and then i didn't want to bother with the roof so i just made a little hanging hangover which i thought was fine um just putting on a different roof texture i liked this one but i didn't want it to be like um i i liked the lighter one but I didn't want to just use the default roof because it does kind of look unfinished and I'm like meh, nobody really likes the default roof. Then I was debating what I was going to do with this space, if I was going to do a bathroom, if I was going to make it a really tiny butler's room, what I was going to do in there. But I end up get doing the bathroom because I figured if your sense of guests over, you don't want them trampling through your master bedroom to get to your bathroom. You certainly wouldn't like that in real life. So there's like the guest bathroom, I guess. So uh, this is the backyardy um outdoor space i put in a campfire and a bunch of chairs i put in a um bouquet flower arranging station and a bunch of planters throwing a bird bath just for some fun um oh yeah i did do these string of lights because i think they're really pretty um and i love using them in backyards they're from toddler stuff i believe toddler stuff is like underrated i think i really love toddler stuff there's all kinds of fun stuff but i'm also like a family gameplay person so out on the back deck here just doing a table hot tub and grill and we're about to move on to the screenshots all right guys i'll see you in my next video bye